With just three, speaking of the presidential election, with just three months to go until Election Day, the latest Georgetown Institute of Politics and Public Service battleground poll is out and finds President Trump facing eroding support on a number of issues. Among those findings, just 23 percent feel the country is headed in the right direction, with 72 percent saying it is on the wrong track. And if the election was held today, 50 Four percent would vote for Joe Biden as president. The poll also found President Trump's approval rating at 42 percent, with 55 percent disapproving. That's pretty low, Joe. Yeah, that's that's pretty low. But Mo, we've seen it. It's it's fairly consistent with other polls that are out right now. I, I, I was talking to a long time. A political pro who's who's been around a lot of campaigns, and we both said the same thing. You know, we both believed Donald Trump could win in 2016, but after 2017, we we we've been absolutely baffled why a president who just barely squeaked past the finish line uh, would work so aggressively at offending people, and actually not work one single day to expand his base. So you look at that 42 percent number, and I guess the question is, how does a president get from 42 percent to 47 percent mm. when he has been, when he started at a disadvantage and has only made that situation worse? You, you know, it's interesting, Joe. If you look at um, his, you're right, it's, it's fairly consistent with other polls. We have seen for a while that the president's job approval numbers are upside down. But what has kept him in the game up until now has been general uh, approval, not on his overall job, but on his uh, handling of the economy. Up till now, uh, he's had a net positive approval rating when it comes to the, uh, the economy. Our latest poll shows that since October, between October and now, that net approval rating on the economy has almost completely eroded. That when uh, in October he had like a 14 point lead or uh, a net approval rating on the economy. In this poll, voters uh, trust Joe Biden over Donald Trump by two points when it comes to the economy. It shows that on the issue of the economic recovery, the COVID economic recovery, his job approval mm -hmm. is way upside down and voters trust Joe Biden over Donald Trump. This is hurting him with independent voters. It is hurting him with suburban voters. And it is hurting him with middle class voters, a group that he used to um, hold a, uh, a lead with. They are now that lead is completely eroding. And if he can't change the fundamentals of this race, he's in real, real trouble. So, Elise Jordan, um, I fear the answer to this question, but knowing Donald Trump's patterns. What do you think he does with this information? What do you, where do you, how do you think this will play out? Miko, we've seen Donald Trump's increasing desperation uh, over the past couple of months as he's tried to enforce political solutions on what is a medical pandemic in need of answers of science. And you know, he, he's going to try a travel ban. You look at how he's trying to ban Americans with coronavirus from reentering the country. A travel ban is always his solution for everything. A travel ban that won't be upheld in the courts. We'll see, you know, antics similar to the caravans that were going to overtake the country in the 2018 midterms, a strategy that didn't play out so well for him at the ballot box that go around. It's more fear, hysteria, keeping the cameras on him. This, uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's going to be a rocky couple of months until the election. And certainly it will not be devoid of senseless panic and nonsense from the commander in chief. And we're certainly seeing well, a lot of that right now. Hey, Mo, uh, Gene Robinson's with us and has a question for you. Gene. Um, Mo, did, does this poll look um, with any specificity at, at the battleground states in particular, or is it a general national poll? And what, what can you tell us about the battleground? Yeah, the poll is a general national poll. Um, but it does uh, take a look at some key groups and some key constituencies, including 
uh, the rural, urban, suburban divide that, as we all know, is so important uh, in a lot of these battleground states. And uh, fairly consistent with a lot of other polls, it shows that the president's uh, support in the suburbs that uh, can turn a lot of these uh, battleground states that we're all keeping an eye on, uh, that is completely gone. His support in the suburbs, particularly amongst suburban women, uh, is is taking a huge, huge hit. Again, fueled by some of those same issues that we were talking about earlier. The general economy, jobs, the economic recovery, the handling of COVID. And one thing we haven't talked about, dealing with the, the summer protests and race relations in suburban communities across the country, uh, they, uh, they are abandoning the president. He is hemorrhaging support there because of his uh, mishandling, and Joe Biden is stepping into that void. All right, Mo Alethi, thank you very, very much. And Peter Baker, thank you as well. Still ahead on Morning Joe, the impact of COVID-19 on mental health, what we know and what we don't yet know. Thanks for checking out MSNBC on YouTube, and make sure you subscribe to stay up to date on the day's biggest stories, and you can click on any of the videos around us to watch more for Morning Joe and MSNBC. Thanks so much for watching.